friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So that means it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week and we're going to talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic, which speaks right to my heart. I'm actually very excited for this week's topic. So if you're excited to, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on. I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is what I follow and to lead to 140 pound weight loss as well as maintaining that weight loss for almost a year, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions, talk with me directly, or if you just need some added accountability. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, it's free, it's amazing, and we'd love to have you, so come join us, are all down in that description box. So let's chat about my week, my weigh-in, and the exciting Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a really good week. I had a fan fantastic weekend last weekend. If you didn't know, it was my meetup. I did a meetup here in Tucson and I had some of my subscribers fly in from places like Philadelphia, hey Kara, Wisconsin, hey Rachel. We had Wendy from California. We had Christy from Arizona, hey girls. And then my friend Rachel, Kelly and her daughter Cassie came as well. So there were eight of us and we had the most soul fulfilling weekend I could ever ask for. And I love these girls so much. It's so nice to actually meet some of you in person and really built a strong friendship. We had a very busy weekend. Very, very busy. Saturday, we started out hiking Tumamoc. You guys know I hike Tumamoc regularly and the girls killed it. Rachel, myself, and Wendy all made it to the top and it was fantastic. It was so rewarding for those two to make it all the way to the top of the mountain. Then we went to a local eatery called Snooze, which has the best bacon in the world. For breakfast, it was fantastic. Then we made our way into Vail, Arizona and went to the Colossal Cave. We actually got to take a cave tour. It was so interesting with all the stalactites and stalagmites. We had so much fun and we ended the tour with prickly pear soft serve ice cream. That was a 10 out of a 10. From there, we went back to the hotel, got ready, and then we hit up the Gaslight Theater, which is just this old school theater in Tucson. And we went to Henry Porter, which is a Harry Potter spoof. It was fantastic. It was hilarious. It's very audience interactive. So we're booing and we're cheering. We had such a great time. We actually ate dinner at the theater. They have a little 50s diner attached to the theater and they just delivered the meal to your table. It was amazing. It was so, so much fun. And then Sunday, everyone came to my house for breakfast. I cooked breakfast for everybody. And then we headed to a little town called Tubac, Little Tubac, Arizona, which is a Mexican type of village. And we shopped, we had coffee, we had pastries. It was so amazing. I mean, I can't even tell you, it literally, makes me emotional to think about how wonderful of a weekend that I had with these girls. And I'm so blessed to have such an amazing community. And I have new friends. Thank you again to Rachel, Kara, Christy, and Wendy for making the long trip here. And of course, I loved having Rachel and Kelly and Cassie here as well. They're my really good friends and it was nice to have them meet my subscribers as well. And I feel like the eight of us are now amazing friends. So thank you again for everybody who came to the Tucson meetup. It couldn't have been better. It really truly couldn't have been better. And I definitely want to do more meetups in the future. I'm actually having a conversation with Nikki at Nikki Gets Fit about maybe doing a cohesive meetup somewhere like Nashville or somewhere kind of in between where we live. She's in Illinois. I'm in Arizona. I may travel to certain areas for meetups. We'll just have to see what the next year brings, but I'm so happy with the Tucson meetup. It went so perfectly. And again, thank you to everybody who came. You guys are incredible. Sunday night, I went to dinner with my boot camp group. My friend Deborah at boot camp turned 69 and we went to this cute little restaurant called Blush in Tucson. They had a photo booth. They had a photo booth. So we took some super fun photos in the booth. I had an amazing dinner. One of the girls brought homemade carrot cake that was spectacular. So I kind of just did my thing over the weekend. I did not track my food at all over the weekend. During the meetup, at dinner on Sunday. However, I got back to tracking on Monday. I got back to my regular exercise. I was at boot camp at 5 a.m. and back to tracking my food and just getting back to normal. And I told you guys in last week's weigh-in post Hawaii, that's all you have to do. Go enjoy your vacation. 
Enjoy your weekend. Be mindful. Don't go crazy. I certainly didn't go crazy. And then just get back to it. Just get back to it on Monday, but live your life. Food should fit into your life. Your life should not revolve around food. And I had an amazing weekend and I don't regret a single minute of it. Before I talk to you guys about my weigh-in, I do want to talk to you about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic because like I said, I was really excited to see this. And the topic is, is your way of eating sustainable? Six steps to find out. If you know me, I talk all about sustainability. Whatever you do to lose weight, you have to do that to maintain your weight loss. So if you're doing keto, Octavia, giving yourself a shot, can you do that forever? If the answer is no, then don't do it to lose weight. It's not sustainable and you're not gonna keep the weight off. So I like that Weight Watchers is giving you these six tips, these six steps, these six check-in mechanisms to know if what you're doing is sustainable. The perfect diet doesn't exist. The perfect diet is the one that you'll stick to and the one that is sustainable for you. Every body is different, so every body, every person should be following a different way of eating to reach their weight loss goals and maintain their weight loss goals. You know that I was strictly a Weight Watchers follower for years and years and just didn't have the success that I wanted to have losing weight. It's when I started tracking my calories and focusing on protein that I lost 90 pounds in one year and have since hit 140 pounds lost and maintained that weight loss. I found the perfect diet for me and that's tracking macros and calories. Some things you can do to find the perfect diet for you is number one, I ate the things I enjoyed on my diet, yes or no. All foods were on the menu, yes or no. I was able to stick to my weight loss and health goals, yes or no. I could be social and go to events, yes or no. I was able to eat the same meals as my family or friends, yes or no. It was easy to find my food at local stores, yes or no. Now think about this. If you answered mostly yes and think you can maintain this eating pattern, great. The next step for you is to think about what you need to keep it up. Now if you answered mostly no or you aren't sure if you can do this long term, that's okay too. The next step for you is to brainstorm a way to turn each no into a yes. There are actually four questions to help make your eating pattern more sustainable. Number one, how can you incorporate a favorite food or two into your week? Number two, can you plan ahead for an upcoming party or night out? Number three, when can you learn lean on zero point foods or weekly points for more flexibility? And number four, what recipes in the WW app might your family also enjoy? Raise your, raise your hand if you've tried to lose weight in so many different ways and none of them actually worked for you. Then you found what worked for you. Whether that's Weight Watchers, whether that's counting calories or macros, whether that's following a low carb lifestyle, let me know if you found what works for you and what that was. If your diet is banning foods, or restricting foods in any way, especially low carb, saying you have to eat a certain number of carbs every day, that's not healthy or sustainable. Whatever you're doing to lose weight, you have to do to maintain your weight loss. You should have complete food freedom. Of course, you have to eat higher calorie things in a little more moderation, but you should be able to eat all foods and no foods or food groups should be off limits. This, in my opinion, is the healthiest, most sustainable way to lose weight and keep it off. That's what I did. If you know me, I eat whatever I want. I don't track when I'm on vacation. I don't track on the weekend sometimes, and I've still lost and maintained my weight loss. Research after research after research shows that the most successful way to lose weight is to do something you'll stick with long-term. I cannot recommend having your personalized macros and calories done more. Whether you follow that or not, just having the knowledge and knowing what you should be eating every day calorie-wise, fat, carbs, and protein can really be a game changer in weight loss. That is the service I offer as a weight loss and nutrition coach. I have done thousands upon thousands of people's macros and I have thousands upon thousands of success stories. There are so many of you out there that have lost more weight than you've ever lost, eating more food than you've ever eaten and maintain that weight loss with your personalized macros and calories. It is a very, very small investment into your overall health. I wish I would have done it sooner. That's the only regret I have, is not following my macros and calories sooner. That's the only regret. I wish I would have done it years and years ago. Find what's right for you. Find whatever is right for you and follow that for success. I also wanna share, as always, three fast facts with Weight Watchers with you. Number one, research shows that the most successful diet approach for weight loss is the one you will stick with long-term. Number two, leveraging your natural preferences and tendencies is a good place to start. And number three, when your eating pattern takes into account foods you like and things you tend to do, 
it's easier to stick with. If you're scarfing down salads for the sake of weight loss and you hate salads, stop. Eat the foods that you like. That's what's going to make you stick with it and that's what makes it sustainable and that's what keeps the weight off long term. Please invest in yourself, have your macros and calories done and find whatever diet approach works for you. That's what you should be doing. And make sure, number one, numero uno, the most important, sustainability. Whatever you're doing is sustainable to lose the weight and keep it off forever. I really like this topic. I'm so glad they addressed this because this is something I talk about all the time. Like you're probably tired of hearing about sustainable diet, do what works for you, do what keeps the weight off. But really, truly, that is what is going to lead you to long-term success. Nobody wants to lose weight and gain it back because it sucks to lose weight. We want to lose it and we want to keep it off. And that involves a sustainable, long-term healthy eating approach. So speaking of weight loss, speaking of losing weight and keeping it off, let's jump into my weigh-in. Last week was a weigh-in post Hawaii vacation. I actually lost a pound on vacation. Now my weight this week has been a little weird. It is, I'm about to start my cycle and the week leading up to that is very weird. Some days I'm really lean. Some days the scale just spikes up a couple of pounds overnight. You know, I don't let the scale dictate my happiness nor, and you also know that I know that weight fluctuation is totally normal. So I had a lot of fluctuations this week. I'm just a couple days out now from my scheduled cycle. So this is typically when I'm when I'm pretty leaned down, my hormones have kind of regulated to start my cycle. And then we all know what happens during the cycle and post the cycle. So when I stepped on the scale this week, I'm actually up 0.2 from last week. So last week I lost a pound. This week the scale flexed up 0.2. That's nothing. I could give a rip about 0.2. I mean, honestly, I always tell you guys point this and point that at up to a pound. Absolutely. But seeing a weight fluctuation of 0.2, whether it's up or down, does not affect me whatsoever. That is a simple weight fluctuation. I mean, I could have taken a sip of water, got on the scale and gained point two. So I consider that a maintenance, which is exactly what I want to be doing, especially leading up to my cycle, especially post a weekend of not tracking and enjoying all the fun foods. I mean, I had treats, I had dessert, I had sugary drinks, I had all the things over the weekend. So I'm taking point two as a maintenance and I'm taking it as a huge win. So let me know down below. Number one, how was your week? How was your weigh-in? And number two, what are you doing that you feel is sustainable long-term for you? Let us know down below. You may enlighten people to try a different approach to weight loss. And number three, please, please, please invest a little bit in yourself to have your personalized macros and calories done. It's life-changing. It's not just game-changing in weight loss. It's life-changing. And like I said, I wish I would have done this years and years ago. I'd have been at my goal and maintained my weight loss years ago instead of just in the last couple of years. This is 100% sustainable for me. I'm not on a diet. This is my lifestyle and I'm loving every minute of it. So take advantage of having your macros and calories done. And of course, if you enjoyed another weigh-in, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to check out the description box. That's where you'll find nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, have them done, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching and links and discounts to my favorite things. And come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. I hope that you had an amazing week. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments, and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive haul. Massive, massive, massive. I did my monthly Costco stock up, so it's a big haul. Have a good Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.